This is the story of the star that nearly wiped out humanity. Spotting these stars is extremely difficult and it wasn't discovered until 2013 by Ralph Dieter Schultz. When they later analysed its movement, they determined it appeared to be moving away from us. Using detailed data and our own movement, they were able to determine that this star passed within a mere 52,000 astronomical units from our Sun, some 70,000 years ago. The Schultz star system consists of two stars. Its primary star is a red dwarf, the second is suspected to be a brown dwarf. The total mass of this system is small at just 0.15 solar masses. The pair orbit each other at a distance of about 0.8 astronomical units, taking roughly four years to complete an orbit. In 2019, high precision images helped to refine the calculations and put the closest point at 68,700 astronomical units around 80,000 years ago. What effect would this have had on our own solar system? Unfortunately, there are no human records that date back this far. But around 74,000 years ago, the Earth underwent a catastrophe when the supervolcano Toba erupted. This event occurred at what is now Lake Toba. It was the last in a series of at least four caldera eruptions at this location, with the earliest known caldera having been formed 1.2 million years ago. The pyroclastic flow of this eruption destroyed an area of at least 20,000 square kilometres, with ash deposits as thick as 600 metres. It has been estimated that its volcanic explosivity index was at the highest rating on the scale. The eruption mass was at least 12 times greater compared to the more recent 1815 Mount Tambora eruption, which caused the 1816 year without a summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Some scientists have speculated that this could have caused a local cooling of 15 degrees for three years after the eruption, and that the cooling would last for decades, devastating life. A 10-year volcanic winter triggered by the eruption could have largely destroyed the food source of humans and caused a severe reduction in population size, creating a bottleneck in human evolution. Markers in the human DNA suggest a very low level of genetic variation in humans which may indeed be caused by our current DNA being based on a very small number of survivors. In fact, so severe was this bottleneck that only around 10,000 individuals survived the rebuilding of the human race. This evidence was based on coalescence evidence of some genes and the relatively low level of genetic variations in humans.